Carpy lot, and welcome to episode six of Carping Forever UK with Scotty P. Um, you join me this week, um, not at the venue that was planned. Uh, so I'll tell you a little bit more about that later on in the episode. Uh, you join me at Willows Lake uh, on the Albans Lakes Complex in St Albans. Amazing little lake. Well, I say little lake. It's huge. Twenty-two acres and I believe up to in, in the range of about 7,000 carp in here. Um, ranging from little tiddlers, you know, two, three pound, all the way up to, I know there's a 24 pounder that come out the last time I fished it. So yeah, it's a, it's a very deep lake as well. It's, um, I believe an old quarry lake. Uh, and this is another lake where I first started fishing. Absolutely love it here. Um, caught this beauty. <laughs> on my first ever session out um, yeah so let's see if we can get something on the bank for you guys alright um, I'm not going to show you where my rods are set up at the moment it's a bit too dark obviously um, night has fallen upon us a little bit faster than I hoped to be honest I hope to have this uh, intro recorded a little bit um, sooner Guys, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Yeah, hit that uh, notification bell so you know when I'm uploading videos. Um, I try to upload every Tuesday, as you all know, but it's been a little bit difficult recently because of um, a few personal issues. Uh, well, not an issue, I suppose, but a few personal um, situations that I need to sort out myself. And also because of having to change jobs and stuff, it's been a bit of a nightmare trying to get out on the bank. Uh, but I have missed it, to be honest. I've I've missed being out on the bank. I've missed, you know, chatting to you guys on the camera. So yeah. So anyway, um, I'm probably not going to record again tonight unless uh, I have a fish. Um, I'm hoping for a couple of other guys that were meant to be on the social with me to turn up. Um, I think one has just cancelled, um, bless him, because of his dog. Uh, sorry to hear that, Michael. Um, I hope your dog, Charlie, is uh, or gets better soon. Um, yeah, and then uh, Tom is popping down to, uh, to have a couple of nights with us. Obviously, we're going to stay socially distanced because of COVID-19 and all the restrictions and stuff. Um, so, yeah. So, anyway... Let's see if we can get something on the bank, guys. Tight lines. Evening, you carpy lot. I said I wouldn't be back unless I caught something. All right. Just uh, had a lovely little take on my left-hand rod, um, which is out towards the edge of the island. A lovely little, little nine to ten pound mirror. I'll lift him up now, give you a little show to him. This was caught on the uh, pineapple slime wafter. Yeah, on a helicopter system. Mwah. Love getting off the mark. Beautiful, right. And I get a picture of him, and then I'm going to slip him back, guys. Tight line. <laughs> Lovely. Love it. Evening again, you carpy lot. I'm back with carp number two. Yeah. I got this lovely, lovely 16 pound common. Went 16 on the nose. Absolutely beautiful. What a way to start off what was meant to be a social over at A12. Uh, fisheries which unfortunately got cancelled so we've come over to Willows instead and to, to get two on uh, in quick succession again this one fell to the pineapple slime ball wafter from the tall baits range yeah right let's get a, get a quick photo and I'm gonna stick her back Let's 
size of a Good morning, you carpy lot. Um, just thought I'd jump on, give you a quick update. Uh, had a couple in the night that, I've, that you've seen, obviously, the videos for. Uh, but other than that, I lost one um, at around about, I think it was about five o'clock this morning. I'm not 100% sure at the time. I just got woken up by a screaming take, uh, stuck me flip flops on, because that's all I had close by. Tried to get to the rod. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, but completely went um, head over heels and ended up on me, uh, on me bottom sliding down the hill. As you can see, I'm still quite covered in, uh, in mud from the escapade. Um, but yeah, it, it, you know, the fish are feeding well. Um, there was a few bites on the lake that I heard during the night. So hopefully we can pull one out during the day and get another one on the bank for you guys. All right, tight lines. Afternoon guys, um, not much has changed. I've not had another uh, another bite or another bleep to be honest. Um, I've just recasted all my rods uh, just because I didn't quite feel when I recast them this morning that they landed where they were last night. Um, so I pulled them all back in, re-wrapped them up. Um, I'm sitting on 14 and a half wraps. Um, I will take you outside in a little while and show you where I'm fishing. Um, reach out to me rods um, I mean the wind is up a lot a lot more than it was yesterday I think we're um, having like 11 11 mile an hour winds um, but it feels a lot stronger than that to be honest um, especially when it really does pick up and blow um, and it, it's got a god awful chill on it and all it's uh, it's meant to be 11 degrees today but it feels a lot colder than that when that wind hits you um, but yeah, all in all, it, it's been dry, a bit cloudy and overcast, but we haven't had any rain, so at least we're dry. That's that's a good thing always. Um, but yeah, right, so let's go outside and have a look at where I'm fishing. Right, 
this is the lake out in front. Dickhead. Right, so this is my swim. Um, out in front of me, this tree line that you can see here is actually an island. Um, which you can see that the water levels up up over the island. It's normally a lot lower than that. Um, but yeah, so my spots are. If you can see the bush there. This one here, I'm fishing probably about, well it's 14 and a half wraps, so it's about there in the water, just in front of that bush. Um, and then my, that's my left hand rod. My middle rod is, I'll swing you around a little bit, just in between these trees. Where's my finger, there it is. Just about there. And then my right hand rod is on this tree here, roughly around about there in the water. Um, again, 14 and a half wraps out. Um, it is a massive lake. I mean, I'll swing you around up there. As you can see, it is absolutely huge. It goes all the way around, down. And I mean, this is only the top half of the lake um, it goes a lot further down to the left of us um, and then they've also got another lake a farm lake that is just um, adjacent to this lake um, but there is three lakes on this complex so like I've mentioned you've got willows that I'm fishing today um, which is they use it for a lot of the carp matches um, but also it's uh, for pleasure anglers as well. There's a lot of fish in here, all different types. Uh, cat, pike, carp, bream, huge bream. Um, and I think there might even be some tension, some roach in here as well. Um, but then you've got Farm Lake, which is all the way down there. Um, and that has your big carp in it. It's their specimen lake. It's uh, your, your average stamper carp, you're looking at about 20 pound. Um, and there is also some big big cats in there. Uh, the biggest I've known to come out of there is about uh, 80 to 90 pound on the cat. Um, and just past this tree line here, literally is probably about 12 foot between the lakes. Uh, there's another little lake, which is the Match Lake, which houses all the uh, smaller carp um, and all the bream. Um, they've recently just taken a load of bream out of the specimen lake, the farm lake, um, and they were absolutely huge. The weekend I was fishing, there was 300 pound of bream transferred from the farm lake up to this Match Lake behind there. Um, yeah, so... The match anglers are actually having a really good time over there from what I've heard. So yeah, but anyway, that's the lake and that's my swim. Um, hopefully I can pull another, another carp or two out to show you before I end up packing up and uh, heading off home. Tight lines, guys. Hello again you carpy lot, we've had another take, this time this fell to um, a nut or boily topped with a bit of uh, lobster fake corn, um, seemed to do the trick quite nicely. Alright let's bring him up for you to see him, it's a nice little 5 to 8 pound common. Absolutely stunning, look. Oh, oh, stay still. There they are. Look at that bar of gold. Well worth the wait. Been sat behind quiet rods all day. And then, what is it, about two o'clock this morning? In the morning, sorry. This beauty shows up. All right. I'm gonna get a quick photo and stick him back. Well, good morning, you carpy lot. 
and what a morning it is. The sun, the sun's out. There's no wind whatsoever. I mean, if I was to show you the lake now, it's it's like glass. It's completely flat still. Um, it's a bit cold this morning, though. <laughs> Colder than what it was last night as well. It was about nine degrees um, last night, and now it's dropped down to about six degrees. Um, yeah, so I'm I'm feeling it this morning. Uh, but I got my cup of tea on the go, so that's uh, going to warm me up. Um, well, last night, sorry about the footage, it's not the best, I know. Um, I was wearing my head torch and I forgot to turn it off uh, before before I started filming. Um, and I just wanted to get the, the fish filmed and take some pictures and get it straight back in the water. And to be honest, get straight back into bed, I was, I was a bit knackered, um, if I'm honest. Also, I didn't do a nighttime update um, yesterday or a tea time update uh, purely because I didn't do anything, didn't change anything, um, didn't really stick any more bait out because I just didn't feel the need to. Um, the only thing I changed, and this was literally just before I went to bed last night, uh, was my middle rod. Um, I changed the bait screw that I had on it for an extra large bait screw. Um, which meant I was able to put a, um, I was able to put a nut or boily on it with a bit of tor pop-up corn. I was going to call it fake corn, but it's not fake corn because it's it's made of uh, their boily mixture and pop-up mixture. So it's their pop-up corn, um, which that little tweak seemed to do the trick. Um, it. It was a little idea that my pal Tom gave me. He um, he had one yesterday uh, using the same method. So I thought, why not give it a go? There's no point sitting behind static rods. So, yeah, done that. Uh, and this morning, I've had a couple of bleeps on, uh, on my rods, but nothing major nothing's developed into anything um i haven't i haven't put any more bait out than what i did last night when um i had a, had that fish i put nine spoms out so that was three over each spot um yeah so hopefully fingers crossed let's hope we can have another one before i pack up and uh and go home tight lines right then guys um, I'm going to call it a day there. I'm going to slowly start packing down now. Um, I haven't had anything more since last night, so not even a bleep. Uh, move my rods around a little bit. Uh, put one in the margin to me right. Um, other than that, yeah. Not really changed anything, to be honest. Um, but yeah, it's been a good session all in all. Um, between me and Tom, we've had four fish out. Um, I had the 10 pound linear, um, the 16 pound common, and then I had another eight, eight, nine pound um, mirror last night. Uh, so yeah, all in all, for the time of year, I think I've had a pretty good session. Um, first time I've ever fished um, in November, so can always uh, can always achieve something, can't you, when you go fishing? Um, so yeah guys, so don't forget to hit that uh, subscribe button and the notification bell so you know when I upload my videos. Um, and hopefully I'll see you on the bank sometime. Tight lines guys.